Greetings folks, I'm a big fan of glue as you all know and uh, when Starbond contacted me and asked if I would like to try some of their superior quality CA glue, uh, I was very very keen. Starbond's based in Los Angeles, California uh, and they boast some of the freshest and highest quality CA glues for a wide wide variety of applications. So let's talk a little bit about CA glue or super glue or Loctite or lots of different names like that. It's uh, CA is short for cyanoacrylate. It is activated when it comes in contact with moisture. Moisture uh, makes the acryl molecules polymerize. That's what you get from Wikipedia anyway. That just means that the molecules that are in the resin join together and form long chain bonds very quickly, uh, which bond two surfaces together. It's generally a fast acting and strong glue. You can get it in a variety of different thicknesses for different applications. The, th the classic one is the thin CA glue that sort of wicks in around tiny little spaces. And, and if you have a look on the Starbond website, fantastic website by the way, it has uh, tutorials about how to use all, all the different glues in different applications. Uh, you can see they have from the thin stuff right through to, to thick and flexible stuff. They even have coloured CA glue, black, white, brown and pink. The black stuff, they uh, demonstrate how you can use that to fill up knots and uh, cracks in woodwork uh, to sort of highlight the de defects, I suppose. Now, I've never really thought of CA glue as a, as a gap filling glue, but uh, the, the thicker varieties uh, have other compounds mixed with them, so they will act as a gap gap filler. You can also mix thin CA glue with uh, baking powder, baking soda. If you fill the gap with baking soda then drip the thin CA, CA glue in it makes a, a really good filler apparently. I've never used it like that though. Now as, as I said CA glue is used in a wide variety of industries. Uh, there are lots of uh, industrial applications like Loctite for locking down nuts, 3D printing for joining components together, CA glue was also used in the medical profession as well. Uh, in, I was involved in ophthalmology as a medical photographer and uh, wound closing, corneal perforation closing with CA glue is, is reasonably common. And we all know how good it is at sticking fingers together. I do it every time I use CA, CA glue. It's a good idea to use gloves, of course. So, uh, But the way we are going to use it is in model making, of course. Oh, and uh, fixing sunglasses. I've, broken my sunglasses there, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, glue my sunglasses together. We'll do that a bit later on. But I'm interested in the model making applications for CA glue and the woodworking generally too. So I've used CA glue extensively building this little Blario 11. I uh, couldn't do it any other way I don't think because of the quick bonding and super lightweight uh, properties. And here's the Probably the best model I have ever made. This is a, a model cooter boat. Cooter boats are fishing boats that are unique to this part of the world, which is Victoria in southern Australia. Uh, and it's a fishing boat um, used in the late 1800s, right up to 1960s, I think, uh, for fishing barracuda. That's not barracuda, that's barracuda, which is a different fish, not actually a barracuda, uh, which is like a snook or a snake mackerel I think and these were um, fast and capable seaworthy boats uh, they used to sail out of Port Phillip out into the Bass Strait catch the Barracuda very fast as well because uh, the first person to get home would always get the highest price for the uh, for the catch so a bit of local history this um, I made this when we were renovating our house and we pulled out lots of uh, cedar skirting boards that were in pretty rough shape, but uh, they were, the wood was so beautiful that I sliced it up and made it into the planks to make this um, model cooter boat. Cooter boats usually have a, a decking on them, uh, but I wanted to see the inside, so I've sort of turned it into a, a, a day boat or something like that. One of my favourite models ever, ever made, and uh, when I stop flying planes, I'll be getting back to making model boats too. Beautiful, beautiful boat. I also used CA glue extensively with balsa, building balsa pods. Uh, the, the CA glue means you can make them up very, very quickly. Uh, and then I cover it with uh, sort of transparent tough tape. 
for strength and I also use it in these uh, spring pull uh, control surface operation systems and what that is a Kevlar line that goes up to the servo and then there's a spring in the hinge here the spring is a piece of uh, thin piano wire bent into a u-shape and then just forced into the elevator and the uh, horizontal stabilizer and then when you bend the elevator back it is under tension from the spring and uh, you use the line to operate it now forcing uh, a piece of wire into into foam or balsa uh, is all very well but it's not going to stay there for very long so a little drop of uh, ca glue in there just holds it in and strengthens the material around where the the spring sort of pushes in and it's also very useful for making CA hinges too. I uh, don't know if you've ever seen these, but that's a, a thin sh piece of, of mylar plastic with some sort of texture on it. And uh, to make one of the best hinges known to modeling, you take a, make a slice in one part of the hinge, slice in the other part of the hinge, slide the CA hinge in, into the slices like that. give it a flex so that you've got a little bit of distance and then you just put a couple of drips of uh, thin CA glue in there the CA wicks in either side and secures the hinge in there for one of the toughest and best hinges in modeling CA hinges awesome now probably the first radio controlled hobby I was into was uh, radio controlled land yachts and this is a solid wing mast I made uh, with balsa CA glue and iron-on covering for uh, a big model land yacht. Pretty standard uh, balsa and rib construction with a fair bit more reinforcing than most model planes. And as you can see from this little video, this model land yacht sailed along very rapidly across the car park uh, with a decent amount of wind and pointed really high into the wind too, so it's really nice and efficient. Another use for CA glue. All right, so let's look at what we have here. So the blue is medium CA, and we have medium thick, and the thick has slower flow and curing, and it's gap filling. Um, medium thick, stronger than standard CA, and high impact resistance, and a bit of gap filling. And the medium easy flow formula, bonds and repairs, hobby model assembly. This is gonna be the one we'll use for assembling balsa models and things like that and we also get some uh, accelerator which speeds up the curing time to seconds thick ca glue you have to treat like normal glue really and and hold the two surfaces together for a long time possibly up to half an hour or so the thinner stuff dries quicker but they can all be sped up a lot by giving a quick spray of accelerator and I've seen on the website you can actually also apply accelerator to one part of the, the uh, join and CA glue to the other part of the join and then when you bring them together uh, they, they work together to bond very quickly. Alright so let's uh, show in a bit more detail how to use some of these awesome uh, Starbond CA glues. Each bottle comes with instruction manual. A couple of applicators with caps you need to clip off the end possibly and some super fine uh, applicators uh, what do we got two four six eight of them plus a stopper as well and the accelerator comes with a pump top and instructions as well all right let's have a look at my sunglasses I think what I'll try is dabbing a bit of accelerator on one side and CA glue on the other side a bit of accelerator on the tip there and some of the medium bring them together it's better to use as small an amount as possible it glues better
and that is stuck. Cool, done, job one done. Probably used a bit too much there. Now let's try the CA hinge, so we've got a couple of uh, bevel on either side for this one. That's going to be the hinge, so we need to work out how wide we need a little slice. Probably don't even need to mark it really. Cut a slot in there. Same on the other side. It's great for balsa builds too. There we go. So you slot it in, then you make sure you've got enough space. There we go. To bend it so you give it a bit of a flex, then just a couple of drops to let it wick in. You can see it drawing in there, and that's all you need to do. Maybe some on the other side as well. Whoops. And that takes a bit longer to dry because it's sort of buried in the foam. So just put that aside for you know, a good half an hour, let it dry. Then you've got a super strong hinge. And of course it is just made for work with balsa. There you go, that bonded in a couple of seconds, but I would leave it for a bit longer to make sure it bonds perfectly. So the Starbond CA glue looks like pretty decent stuff. Works perfectly well for the little test that I've done. I do have a full balsa DLG coming from j &H Aerospace, so when that arrives, this is the stuff that I'll be using to build it. So we'll see more of this stuff. Thanks for watching.